Night game of the season. We had a great one. Brett Favre and company trying to inch closer to possibly getting a first round by a number one overall seed. First quarter, Vikings down 3 0. Not what Brett Favre was looking for. Fumbles, Tommy Harris recovers. What happened here, Trent? Ball security is so important with cold weather. The ball gets hard and slick. The turnovers usually come when the ball's down around your waist, just like it happened there with Brett Favre. Led to a field goal that put the Bears up 6 0. Jay Cutler was grooving on a Monday evening. This is the guy they wanted to sign in the offseason. Great plan by Ron Turner and the staff doing the things Jay Cutler does well. Get him on the move, give him pick and stick throws he can work with. Greg Olson, 24 yards there. Third and nine. And how about Devin Aroma should do. You do what you Aroma should do, baby. Picks up 26 down to the two after a false start penalty. A taser shot. Wow, that ball moved fast. That's what Jay Cutler can do. Sticks his foot in the ground and delivers a strike to Olsen for the touch. Bears up 13 to nothing. Largest deficit owed the season for the Vikes. It actually went to 16 to nothing. That's what it was at the half. Third quarter, far for former Bear Bernard Barry and 38 yards and a first down. Very next play, he goes for the home run. Doesn't get it, but he gets the hanky. Yeah, and these two plays change the Minnesota Vikings approach on offense, stretch the field vertically. And then Adrian Peterson of the Minnesota Petersons runs around, Lance Briggs gets into the end zone. But wait a minute. You think it's going to be a nine-point game, but Israel Adonijay comes up with another blocked extra point. It's 16 to 6. Remember that play as we continue. They have to kick off to Danielle Manning, and boy, he burned them all night long on kick returns. He was really special in the return game, but equally bad for the Minnesota Vikings. Couldn't tackle, couldn't maintain their lane integrity. 57 yards down to the Vikings, 35, and Jay Cutler's all about tight ends and making them happy here. Desmond Clark touched. Touchdown, it's 23 to 6. Brett Favre saying, dang. Next possession, Adrian Peterson, who runs with poetic violence. Just ask Charles Tillman. He literally runs right over him. Yep, he can make you miss, and he can hurt you. All at the same time, violent runner, dominant runner, especially when there's space in that defense for him to run. Now, that was beautiful. Later on that drive, it is third and four for number four. And he finds Sidney Rice, 11 yards. Finally, a conversion on third down. That was their second of the game, first and goal at the three. Now, look, Favre doesn't want the jumbo package. And get him out. I, I'm having issues with my head coach again. We don't want those guys. So they tried the jumbo package, and it was a jumbo disaster. It really was. And that's what Brett Favre understood. They were making hay with spread out formations, up-tempo offense. He didn't want to slow it down and condense it all in that formation. So on the next play, the Vikes go back to the shotgun spread, and this works out to Deshante. Exactly. Snyder. And sometimes you got to trust the instincts of a 19-year vet. He knows how to move the football. He understood that's how they're going to get in the end zone. 23 to 13. Next Bears possession. It's third and 17, and this is the one throw Jay makes almost every game. Well, I'll tell you what. He will make you laugh and make you cry. It makes you laugh when he gets that one in there. It makes you cry when it goes the other defense. Cedric Griffin with the pick, his 26. Vikes got a field goal. They're down one score after being down 16 to nothing. And then in the fourth quarter, things went nuts. It's third and 10. Chester Taylor, no one's near him. You need 10? Shoot, I'll get you 20. And a first down. And two plays later, look at Favre manipulate Lewis with his hands here. This is awesome. Look at the poise in the pocket, eyes downfield, getting Lewis to move to his left, and there's an accurate ball to let him go do some work. 27 yards and a first down. Later on first and goal, Peterson is second of the night, and they've come all the way back from 16 down to tie it at 23. But they had to kick it off to Manning, and Manning burns him again. Another huge return. This one, 59 yards, and they are set up to retake the lead. And Brett Favre is saying, what? What? How did? What? What? Did, what? And then two plays later, Cutler to Earl Bennett for a 20-yard score. Bears up 30 to 23, but they left time on the clock, 252. Adrian Peterson, yeah, on third and short, picks up the first down. This is when you have to run the ball with AP. Those short yards must have run situations, and nobody does it better than Adrian Peterson. All right, 213 left, first and 10. You know, Brett Favre almost threw the sixth pick of the year to Zach Bowman. He leads the Bears with five, but he catches a break. Brett Favre does as Bowman can't hang on, so it's now third and eight. Brett Favre trying to manipulate things. Nice throw to Sidney Rice, 11 yards. First and goal to seven. What a finish. A little swing pass on the bubble screen to Harvin. He gets stuffed. So then on second down, you see Harvin in motion. Brett Favre under duress to Jim Klein Saucer. Well, he only gained a couple inches on this one. 
Yeah, but sometimes those inches matter. We'll get back to that. Brett Favre on third and goal. Oh, just out of the reach. Inches. A and now it's set up. Fourth and goal after a couple of timeouts. One by Minnesota, one by Chicago. The game came down to this. And of course, Brett Favre delivers in the corner to Sidney Rice. Touchdown! What a throw, what a catch. The ability to make the perfect throw when the perfect throw is needed. That's magic. That's Brett Favre. We talked about inches. That is perfect just by inches. And what a great job by Rice to go up and bring it down and get in. They made the kick. We're going to overtime. If they hadn't made that one block, the game Ooh. might have been over. Bears won the toss and things looked really good when Cutler to who else? Devin Aroma should do once again. Aroma should do what you do, baby. I love that trick. Fix it up and goes big. They got a lot of yards and then perhaps the Bears got a little too conservative because they have the gold standard and kickers. Robbie Gold, 45 yard to win it. Oh no. Now Favre and company have a second chance. Look at everybody on the Minnesota sidelines. We're going to win this thing. But they forgot about this. Adrian Peterson does so many things so well, but he fumbles the ball. And Hunter Hillenmeyer with a great punch to knock it out. Great play by Hunter Hillenmeyer. And let's understand something. This is not new for Hunter Hillenmeyer. He's the, maybe the best in the entire league at making these plays. A headsy play, a great play. Not new for Adrian Peterson either. Seventh fumble, sixth loss, both leading for non quarterbacks. And then right after that, Aroma should do. Aroma Romashin did it! And Adrian Peterson can only watch as this play seals the win. What a play, just a blow by nine route. Jay Cutler gets the safety out of the picture and delivers the dime to win the game. Brett Favre and company walk off the field losers for the third time in their last four games, 36 to 30. Never would have gotten to overtime if the kick wasn't blocked. Jay Cutler a season high, four touchdowns, only the one interception. Aroma should do with a career high, 150 yards and a touchdown on seven grabs. The Bears win it. The Vikings and Brett Favre looking for answers.